Folks, we're back with the next project. Thought you might want to see a big, beautiful basket for spring. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey, thanks for coming by, guys. <laughs> we got everything going on now. I got a couple of projects and I wanted to get a beautiful easter -y spring basket going to cheer everybody up. Most of you are telling me you want to see some color and we're ready, right? Okay, let's get going. Now, I've got my pine in my basket. That's used for our oasis. You hear me tell it every time. Now, this is a monster basket, so it's gonna eat up a lot of product. So we gotta fill in, mostly, even we don't care to, if we even get to see it, but we gotta fill this in. So what I've got a lot of are these pink and white roses, and I'm basically gonna go around and get them started around the outside. Honestly, if it's if they're neutral, you can just use just about anything here because it's not our focal point. But the bouquet I'm really wanting to push over today is all about hydrangea for spring. And look at these beauties. We've got pink and violet and white and accent pieces. New pieces had to hit the Hobby Lobby one more time while they were 50% off. <laughs> you know that. All right, this is so big typically I run out of you know one thing now here's a neat kind of a sage and I'm gonna put this up in the middle and kind of establish a height here I'm gonna even take this pine branch and twist it around there Okay, so that gives us a crowning kind of height. Because I want you to be able to think when you're doing your own. Now here's something new. Ooh, look at this. Flowering boxwood. We got white and we got a little yellow. Did anybody think they were going to see any yellow today? Well, we got to start feathering that in. We'll be more coordinated. Once we start filling in, you know how that works. Yeah, I really want that yellow. There's only one of them. I want that in the front. Because this is gonna be mostly a one-sided show. You know, I, well, no, it's, it's gonna show all the way around, come to think of it. I keep changing my mind where I'm gonna put this, but <laughs> I think I'm doing this for the coffee table in the living room, and I'm gonna show you how it looks, too, when we're done. All right, so we've lined them up kinda of down the middle, just fresh picked out of the wild. It looks so cute. I want that to stand up a little bit just like it's doing. Whatever we got to do to give that some help. I'm taking about 10 inches off, maybe nine. And I want to do that again. This is going to establish, like you see me all the time, establish our under
layer for the length of the basket. That's why I'm telling you, you need a, well, for what I do, you know, you need an artist's palette and selection of things. Here is the undeniable cute crocus for spring. And I have a lot more of these, but they're not in this basket. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm not seeing everything and I have plenty to use, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna get a big dahlia. This is gonna really start holding this up for us. Under the middle and just behind center. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Bent the stem. Nice strong stem on these to hold up that flower. I've got a couple more yellows and I wanna get them off the end too. But this is really showing that spring is coming. We got more color. I think it's almost time for hydrangea. I got one white that I can find right now. So she's going to go in the middle and see how we start filling that body of the basket up like this. These come on a super long stem and I'm going to take 12 inches off them. Now you see our glorious hydrangea has a new bud on it. It's just coming out. So I want to get that high, kind of in the middle, just on top, because this bouquet is what it's all about, the hydrangea. That's our showpiece. See how we're crowning this basket out now. Oh, I can see. You can just use a ton of these. <laughs> our wonderful violet. We're going to take about nine, maybe nine inches off. And I mean, you could <laughs> go on and on and on, but of course we're not because it gets really expensive. They just gobble up a ton. Look at the violet, guys. We're going to accent behind with two of them. I've got another one of these for the middle. And at this point, like you hear me say from time to time, this is where I'm going to stop worrying about being exactly formal because our main body of the basket is there for us. We've done that. Boxwood. Here's a couple plain. I'm liking that dark green. And I need a little more filler. I think we'll get them in the back and the side. Because we want to look full and robust. As you know, can't be any other way. Let's look at our new beautiful look at this. <laughs> oh, I want to go a little taller here maybe with these. How cute. Really different. Just budding it looks almost like elderberry. All righty, I'm gonna have to get some more assets down here. <laughs> like I say, that basket eats them up. Now we've got some lavender Timothy and some lavender and some ball dahlia. I'm going to put these 
dot, kind of dot them around like a professional florist would. Just have them popping out in random spots for you like that. I see a big hole in the front and it's not going to be there much longer. I have a variegated boxwood but I think I need the big guns. I think I need this budding piece in there because it just looks like we're in trouble till we fill that in. All right, now something else yet. Oh yes, here's a couple things that'll help. Here's some little bunches of mums. That'll take care of that space and gap. And we get one down in here in this end. Just catty corner, if you will, from that one. Should be really nice. Now we need lavender. I have this style and in a little shorter bunch. And I'm gonna want them to stand up so they can be seen. We have this neat hanging piece and there's only one of them and I'm gonna get that right up the middle next to the handle basket handle. How about the Lavender Timothy? Oh. oh my goodness. Look at what this does now. I, I can't leave home without it. It seems. <laughs> How are we doing? Is that too long? I don't think so for the girth of this basket. And I think we can even get a third one in there. You know, I want odd. So this is opposite of the handle of this. Like there's only one and one of them. Okay, now you new fine folks, don't forget. You can just be part of our wonderful family here too. We have fun all the time. Just read the comments. We got a great bunch of folks right here. Okay, now, I did find a couple more pieces. You might agree. Let's see what you think with this move. <laughs> Can we do a little freesia in there? This is the white freesia that I'm used to. kind of come up, build that up with a little surprise there. And then miniature, oh, look out. Now we're making a move with some yellow. Getting real gutsy now with some lemony yellow roses. It's just gonna take this to another level, I think. Freesia to fill the back that you can't even see yet. But now I got these incredible lemony yellow peony, and there's only two. And let's see what that does. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> too cute. I don't know guys and girls. What do you think? I bet you didn't even see that one coming. I'm liking this variegated boxwood to finish that top. 
and let it come up over the handle. You can turn it around. Can we get any cuter? We need the yellow rose on this side. Alrighty, now I know. I'm gonna have to take you and show you where this goes. Now I don't wanna give up my candle grouping or my books. The coaster, I'm not worried. <laughs> On a marble and glass table. And what we're doing, of course, we're replacing this arrangement with the new basket. That's what we're doing. Let's see if it makes any sense. We're styling, looking like spring. Oh man, look at this. I got the new feather and the chippy birds pair. <laughs> Now I can take you and show you all around. Okay, so folks, if you liked our video today, how to make a beautiful hydrangea basket for spring and Easter, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a buddy over. Forget that snow, it's on the way out. Don't forget to be happy. 
and folks, you know we care about everybody and we're so glad you're here. Take care and we'll see you in the next Over the Top Decorator video.